guys, how are we all doing? We are back with another video and this trick is super fun to do. Like if you do this to your layman's or to your spectators or to your family, your friends, they will laugh when you do this trick. I love it, I think it's amazing and I'm going to share it with you guys. So all that being said, let's get started. Okay, so here is the performance, guys. So what's going to happen is the car can get mixed up, and we do need a car. So actually, you know what? We'll use this one because it's been signed. So a car gets selected, it can get signed, and it gets placed inside the centre of the pack, and it can get mixed up. We know it's not on top or the bottom. So what we're going to do is mix all these cards up just like this. So all the cards get mixed up, and you place your hand down on the table, and you tell them to place any card onto your hand. You tell them to think about it. Think about what card you want. Don't look at it yet. Place it onto my hand. And let's say they choose this one right here. I forgot what the cards were, but I know it was signed. You tell them to name the card, which I forgot. If it's signed, we know it is. Oh, it's a joker. It wasn't a joker anyway. Well, you should have let me do it myself, because if I did it, I would have found the card straight away. <laughs> and like you can see guys, it's just stuck to the back of your hand. It's a very, very fun trick to do. You'll get so many laughs doing this because you don't expect the card to stick to the back of your hand. They really, really don't. And it's still stuck now and it's not even going to come off, which again is really good. And you don't need to use any double-sided tape. You don't need to use no blue tack. There's no sticky stuff. It's just a pack of cards and that's all you need. So all that being said, let me show you how this works. Okay, so here is a tutorial of the effect, guys. So you can go into this trick anytime you want to, okay? You can truly go into this trick anytime you wish. So that blue card I just lost, that's going to be the selected card, uh, just so you can follow how everything works. So what's going to happen is, when they pick a card, okay, and they're showing everybody the card, you got to do one little thing. Do not be grossed out by it. You've got to lick the back of your hand. Okay, so you say, pick a card. I'll turn away. You show everybody the card. While your back is turned, lick your back of your hand. So I'm going to lick it. Okay, so that's been, it takes seconds, like not even a second. So they're going to uh, remember the card. And the only thing you have to do is control the card to the top. I just did a tilt, so you can just riffle up the top card. Their selected card goes inside the center. Well, in, well, what I do, I usually give it a little push. And then place it second to the top. Okay, and then drop everything. So now I say, look, your card isn't at the top, and it isn't at the bottom. The card is now at the top. Okay, so now you want to make a mess of the card, but keep your eye on the selected card. So what I do, I mix all these up, okay, like this, keeping my eye on, on their selected card, and I just place my hand on top of the card, okay? And I say to them, place, and I'm pushing down hard, okay? And I'm not like trying to break the table, but I'm putting enough pressure down on the back of, at the back of the card with my hand. I tell them to give me any card they wish, okay? Any card they feel like. So let's say they choose this card. I say, look, are you sure you want to, you want to keep that card? You want to change it? You, you play this big and they'll go, no, I want this card. You say to them for the first time, name me your card. They'll say seven of spades, you turn it over and it's not. Then all you, then all you say is I should have done it myself. And then you turn your hand over and gather the cards up. See, <laughs> the card is just stuck to the back of your hand. It's like a little spider. Um, and honestly, guys, it's such a great, powerful trick. It really is. And it's Bill Malone's. Bill Malone, I first saw him do this, and I thought, that is absolutely incredible. Um, a great little idea. And look, it's not even coming off. Well, you wouldn't do that, but but that is it. So let's go through that again, guys, just in case you missed it. So a card is going to get selected. So please choose a card. I'm doing the blue one again just so you can see it. And I'd like to show everybody the card. I give it a lick. Showing everybody the card. I'm getting a break on the top card. Okay. 
I take the selected card and I'm, I usually hit the middle, so the uh, front part comes out, so it looks like it's going to the centre, and then I place it second to the top, so it goes in. I drop the brake, and then I say, look, the card isn't at the bottom, it isn't at the top, it's somewhere lost in the centre. You can go into full shuffles now, okay, if you wish. So, when you've done that, you're going to spread the cards among the table, okay, keeping your eye on the selected card. So you're going to spread the cards and place your hand on top of the card and then push down. Okay, I'm not like, like I'm not pushing hard, well, I'm putting enough pressure on so I know when I lift my hand up and turn it over, it's going to stick to the back. So I'm pushing pressure down while they're going to be choosing any card. So let's say they choose this one. I say, okay, do you want to change your mind? You can change your mind. Yeah, okay, change. Oh, what was it though? Oh, good job you did change your mind and you play it along and, you know, have a laugh with them. They choose the card and you say, are you sure? Are you happy right there? They will say yes. Then you say, okay, for the first time, name your card. They will say the seven of spades. You turn it over and it's not. And then that's when I say, well, I should have done it myself. And then they're going to see the card, and it, they, you, they might not react straight away. It might take them a second for it to kick in to see that the card is stuck to the back of your hand because you're not, expect, you're not expecting a card to stick at the back of your hand. They really aren't. And that is it, guys. It's that simple. I, I just wanted to share you this trick. It's by the legend Bill Malone. He's the best magician in the world. And, yeah, great, great trick. And that, my friend, is a tutorial on I should have done it myself. Okay, so that is the end of the video, guys. I hope you enjoy this trick. I should have done it myself. It's such a great trick. Honestly, guys, try this out. Do it to your girlfriend. Do it to your wife. Do, do the girlfriend test. Do the wife test. Like, I've done so many tricks to Debbie, and I, <laughs> I remember when I did this, and she actually laughed at this trick. Like, Debbie's seen that many tricks. She gets bored of seeing them. And when I did this, she even laughed. She went, I actually really like that. She said it was daft, but really good. Because she said to me, she didn't expect me to find the card. And she didn't expect it to be the back of my hand. So, yeah, it's, it's a very good trick. Do the girlfriend test. Do the wife test. Do the family test. Do the friend test. And if you do do it, let me know down in the comment section. Uh, because I'd be quite interested to know uh, how you got on with it. Anyway, that's the end of it, guys. You know what to do. Hit the like, hit that subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I'll see you next time.